Hello and welcome to Cartoon Drawing Studio. Today we're going to be drawing a pizza monster. But before we begin, check out the description box below and visit Cartoon Drawing Studio's website for more information on lessons and free content. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. That lets me know you like these videos and want to see more. Okay, so grab your materials and let's get started. So we're, need, we're gonna start first with our pencil to sketch out our pizza monster. And we'll begin with the top of the crust. So for the top of the crust, we are essentially going to lay out the cylinder here at the top. So here is a cylinder for the top of the crust. And remember, when we sketch, we're sketching first in pencil. So we should press as lightly as we can because after we finish our pencil phase, we're gonna ink anyways our final line. So this is a, an opportunity for you ex to explore and find the shapes that you want. I'm going with a, sim a simple cylinder here for the top of the crust. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm thinking about this pizza arched because he's gonna be running forward. It's a pizza monster. So here is, it kind of looks like a horn upside down. This is a horn that is essentially the bottom of the pizza. And because this pizza is gonna be facing one side, I'm gonna draw the rest of the bread shape here on this side. Perfect. Now this pizza is a character. So just like all of our other characters, we're gonna look for the center line here, like this. So I'm drawing this line right down the middle to kind of let me know where the center point is. And I'm drawing this line to let me know where his eye line is. Perfect. But before we flesh out the, fa the face more, I wanna get in the rest of his body. So I'm gonna draw a certain, the, the armature for the legs. We're gonna start with this leg. I'm drawing a circle right here to let me know essentially this is the pizza monster's hip. It's gonna go down like this, there's his knee. It's gonna go back up, there's his heel, and down, and there is his foot. So I'm looking for very simple shapes to map out the pizza monster's body. Hip, down, knee, up, heel, and then here's his foot. Now on the other side, there's his hip. This is where it's gonna attach to his body. It's gonna go up, there's his knee, it's gonna come down, there's his heel. So, and here is his foot. We're gonna make it this, for now, this half of a sphere. So everything we are drawing right now is very, very simple shapes. Okay, let's map out his arms. So here is his shoulder for this arms. And because this is a pizza monster and he's gonna be have his hands up growling, I'm gonna go up like this and here's gonna be, this circle will indicate his first hand. So there's his hand. And now the same thing on the other side. There's his shoulder, it's going up like this and here is his other hand. And we're gonna flesh out the details of that, but right now we just wanna get the pose and the first pass of our pizza monster. Okay, so essentially this is our armature. Now we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our next pass and get more details. So because I already drew the eye line, I'm gonna go ahead and try to now sketch out the eyes. I'm gonna go with these sideways ovals. See how I'm sketching these out. Sideways ovals. Because I'm gonna build his eyes based on that. So now that I drew the oval out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull down his eyebrow because he's a monster. So he's gonna have this mean monster expression. There is one going down and here is the other one going down. I've drawn both of his eyebrows coming down and that's
that's gonna give him this angry pizza monster expression. Let's go ahead and get the pupils in. So I'm gonna draw one pupil here towards this corner and maybe the other pupil in because he is looking straight on. He's running after us, this pizza monster. Okay, perfect. Now let's get his mouth in here. So I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna arc around to the other side. This looks like a smile, right? But he's gonna have his mouth open like this. And because his eyebrows are, are down, he has this angry expression. Perfect. Okay, great. So, you know, he's a pizza monster. We can go ahead and give him some round teeth like this, or you can have some dripping goo of cheese coming down. I think I'm gonna go with the dripping goo because that looks pretty cool. It's a, it's a pizza monster and he's got all this cheese dripping everywhere. So I kind of like that. And he's got, it's all gooey and cheesy. So instead of teeth, I decided to go with gooey cheese coming down, but we'll still give him a tongue. I close his mouth here and I'm gonna draw a tongue behind the gooey dripping cheese like that. Perfect, all right, great. And now let's continue to flesh out the rest of his body. So we'll start with this leg. It's gonna, it's coming down from the crust here. We're gonna come down this way and we're basically filling in the guides we already gave ourselves with these cylinders. So here is filling in this leg. It's then gonna go back. It's gonna go back. There's his bottom leg and it's gonna come down. This, this shape is already pretty much worked out on this side. This one's gonna go up like this, the cylinder, or it could look kind of like a bent rectangle. It's going up, then this one's coming down like this in front of the other one. It's coming down. And if we really think about this foot, it's kind of like a sphere that's been cut in half. And we're looking at the bottom of the sphere because his leg is lifted up. Okay, perfect. So those are his two legs. He's running forward. Let's work out the arms. We'll start with this arm. I'm gonna fill it in and I'm kind of deciding that it's gonna, the arm is gonna get skinnier, this cylinder, as it attaches to his body and thicker as it gets towards his hand. Yours doesn't have to be like mine. You can have your own variety on this. In the end, you know, you're making your own character and you're using my, this drawing as a guide, but there's, you know, they can all look different. So I have it skinnier here, a little bit wider towards the top, and now I'm gonna draw his hand in two simple passes. This is his thumb, so I'm essentially drawing one thumb. This circle that's already there is the palm of his hand. This is his thumb, and then here is are his fingers. It looks kind of like an oven mitt, right? So I've drawn this oven mitt, and I can take this oven mitt and split it. So I'm gonna split it with one finger, two finger, and then give him three fingers. So there's his hand, kind of arch forward. Here is the mass, and there is, there is this hand complete. So essentially it's the palm, the thumb, and the fingers, and I just split these fingers in half. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but you can use your own hand as a reference. You'll see that when you put your hands, you know, facing down or up, the thumbs are on the inside of the hand. So here is this cylinder. I'm gonna go ahead and do, I already have the palm, so I'm gonna draw one thumb here like this. There's the first thumb. And now, these fingers are gonna be facing this way. So I'm drawing this like that. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and work these fingers out like this. Here's one finger. Here's another finger. And here's another finger. So I've got this hand worked out too. Perfect. And now all we're missing really is a few details. So if I wanted the crust to give it a little bit of, of life, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is maybe draw this little oval on the inside, maybe make the crust a little bit bumpy because the 
it's going to be a bumpy pizza crust, you know, it's not going to be perfect. A bumpy pizza crust. And now I'm thinking maybe it's going to be a pepperoni pizza. So I'm going to have some pepperonis here, maybe a pepperoni there, maybe another half of a pepperoni here because the slice has been cut. Let's see. And another pepperoni right there. And you know what? In my drawing, I'm going to go ahead and make this tail, the back of it, arc a little bit more. That way it looks like he kind of has a tail. So I pulled that out of my drawing a little bit more. And one more thing is I'm just going to go ahead and think about some of these lines like this, like it's dripping. So we got the dripping cheese all around us. Maybe, maybe some cheese like this is dripping off of his body. Maybe some cheese here is dripping off. And maybe some here at the bottom is dripping as he's running. Okay, perfect. So that's pretty much is uh, the sketch of our pizza monster. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our ink pen. And now that we've worked everything out with our pencil as a light pencil sketch, we're gonna grab the ink pen and we're gonna go through this and decide what are gonna be our final ink lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink my character and you can ink yours at home. And here is our final inked pizza monster. So at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your eraser and we're gonna get rid of all of our pencil marks. So the pencil marks are essentially a guide for our drawing. That's why we have to, when we sketch out in pencil, you should be drawing as lightly as possible. Putting just enough pressure on the pencil to make a light mark on the paper because ultimately you're going to erase it anyways and you're going to be left with your final ink lines. And there is our final Pizza Monster ink drawing. Here's our final drawing and we're going to add a little bit of color. And that's it. Let me know if there's any original characters you'd like to see me draw in the future in the comments section below. Don't forget to always have fun with your drawings and share your work on our social media pages. Okay guys, keep on drawing and thanks for watching.